Hey everybody, I just got to use my BFS system, my BFS rod and reel for the first time today and I caught a bunch of little fish and it was a blast. I went to one of my favorite ponds where it produces numbers but not size. I went ahead and put this thing through its paces. I cast over and over and over again and I have to tell you, it's a new way of thinking when you cast but once you get used to it, it's not too bad and it actually will throw pretty far. I used a medium to small sized crankbait. It would be considered ultralight and you would only throw this type of bait on a spinning rod but since I have the BFS, which basically is Ultralight bait casting is all that really means. So I'm able to throw these little tiny lures and catch more small fish and it's just turns something that would normally be boring into more fun. So what do I have here today, guys? I have something kind of special, to be honest. I have my brand new BFS bait finesse system. All right, guys, feels like a bluegill, yeah. Got another one. All right. Oof. Nice little orange belly. Definitely no issues. I mean, you guys, anything more than a bluegill yet, but. Wow, that, that thing sails. I mean, I'm really throwing it pretty far. I think I got a bass, guys. Look at that. All right. Oh, he's missing like half of his lip. And I swear it's not my fault. Poor guy. Look at that. That's a strange looking bass. See that? Missing part of his top lip. That's a shame. It looks like a, like a genetic defect. It doesn't look like something that's happened to him. I'm just gonna go nice and slow. Bluegill, I believe, fellas. Yeah. Nice bluegill. It's a lot of noise for a little puppy dog. Got me a fish. Got me a feisty bass. Nice. I think he swiped it and uh, got snagged maybe. Careful with this guy, he's gonna jump around. There we go. Little tiny guy. Yeah, this kind of rod and reel setup is so much fun when you don't have the ability to get out on Big water, we just got, caught another bass, guys. Yeah, bass number two, or three, today. Uh, you know, you're not lifting these guys out of the water quite like you would with a normal rod, because they, uh, they have a tendency to, Let's see if I can get better light on that guy. Good looking fish. One thing you'll notice, these guys that fish BFS rods and reels, especially the more expensive setups, is when they catch a fish and they go to pull it in by hand, they're real careful when they set their rods and reels down because they don't want to scratch them up, mess them up. Pretty expensive. I mean, the reel alone can cost 300 bucks. A good rod can be one or 200 bucks. So, you know, this little guy right here for 125 bucks is a good deal. There's a money cast right there. bass feels uh, bluegill it was pulling hard at first but then it eased up so oh well talk about matching the hatch here guys we've got a yellow see the yellow breast on that minnow <laughs> that guy hit it like right at the bank Fish. That's a bluegill for sure. You can just tell. Oh, bass lied. Probably one of the better ones today, actually, or a good one. 
Good enough. Yeah, these are great little fish for this kind of a rod. I mean, it just goes to show that it feels decent on a rod like this. There you go, that's a nice clean cast. I'd like to be a little closer to the structure. Okay, got a bluegill. There we go. There you go. I just hooked a bass, guys. <laughs> Cool. Sorry to drag you through the mud, buddy. That's, again, a decent bass for this pond. You know, anything 10 inches or nine inches is about average. Got one. You can see him in the water, can you? It's cool. <laughs> it's funny how like every one of them look a little bit different. Save that one. Got wrapped around the tree. It's funny how time goes, you get better and better at the bait caster. Back in the day, I would have just fried that cast. <laughs> Can you guys see that from up here? He's digging. That bluegill is digging. He does not want to be caught. I'm going to lift him. He's going to lift him. Yeah, they're a little bigger out deep. So the takeaway. I love it. Easy to cast. Plenty of distance. Equal to or better than a spinning rod, in my opinion. Plenty of backbone, sensitivity, but yet the right amount of give when I need to load the rod for the cast. So, you know, like a, if I give it a scale of 1 to 10, it's like an eight and a half. Pretty darn nice for 150 bucks, 120 bucks. BFS, ultra light bait casting. Might be something you want to try. I just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and watch the other videos that I have coming up and stick around and come back and see us. Bye.